Hey, I'm Nick. I'm co-owner of Build My LED, and today we're at Austin, Texas Aquadome with Gary. So Gary, thank you for having us here. Certainly. Glad to be a part. Thank you. And today we're going to do a side-by-side -side product comparison of our 48-inch custom respectrum LED product. And today we're going to pit it head-to-head -head against 10-lamp T5HO fluorescent lighting system that's already running on Gary's show tank here at the store. So Gary, tell us about your tank here and what we want to test today. Uh, this is the uh, Red Sea S model. It comes standard with 10 HO T5 54 watt bulbs. Um, the challenge has always been uh, comparing uh, LED with deep tanks. Uh, the challenge has always been efficiency and cost effectiveness. Uh, everybody knows that LED is probably the future of the industry. The challenge is matching those to the consumer wants and the corals needs. So today our main goal, we got three things that we want to test on this tank. First and foremost is color rendition. We want to make sure that you're happy with the color that the LEDs are providing for all the corals. Second, we're going to test the electrical wattage consumption, so how many electrical watts are we actually consuming with the lighting system. And third, and most importantly, we're going to test the radiometric wattage that we're producing, which is the light. How much light are we actually delivering into the tank to the corals? talk about the colors, what do you see in the corals, and uh, talk about the overall lighting effect that you see here with the Build My LED fixtures. One of the important considerations when picking out any kind of light is the aesthetic value mm. to, the co to the consumer. Uh, they're going to want it to uh, shimmer to some extent, but not give a, a too much of a disco effect. Um, Build My LEDs have achieved a great color spectrum to show off the cor coral colors themselves and be aesthetically pleasing to the consumer watching the aquarium. And those are two important factors when picking light. Everything looks really good. I mean, the colors pop, the greens come out, the reds are intense, the oranges look really good. Uh, the corals show up nice and bright. Uh, you see no retraction of corals because there's too much light. Everything seems natural. The LED is uh, more uh, intense looking. Uh, a brighter look to both the corals and the rock features all the way down to the bottom of the tank. So that's an important feature that you get that, that full effect of light all the way through the aquarium. And I think that's a very important feature and I think customers will really like that. We have three of our 48 inch custom respectrum LED fixtures. Each fixture consumes about 70 electrical watts and you can see here on the wattage meter with three of them plugged into the kilowatt meter, we're running right at 207 to 208 electrical watts being pulled into the system. We're actually using only about a third of the energy that the fluorescent system is using. That's what amazing. The, the savings over time uh, will be substantial for the customer, uh, especially uh, not only relative to the T5 lighting, but considering uh, the, the metal halide bulbs that are out mm -hmm. that this should replace, the savings is dramatic, both in power consumption, uh, heat of the tank, no more chillers. I mean, uh, Build My LED is definitely the way to go with upscale tanks these days. Now we're going to get some PAR measurements with the Build My LED lights. Gary's going to dunk them down here, go down to the very front at 18 inches and if you can see here on the meter we're running right at 330 micromoles per meter squared per second. So now with the fluorescence, Gary what kind of lighting system do we have here? This is going to be a 10 bulb T5 HO 50 watt 4 watt uh, individual bulbs. So we got 540 watts here and when you have a combination it looks like of white and some actinic lamps as well? Exactly. So how deep are we now Gary? We're at 18 inches. 18 inches and what are you saying on the meter here? Uh, we're at about 170, 169, 170. Okay, so that's a much par. Again, it's micromoles per meter squared per second uh, that we're getting with the fluorescent at 18 inches. How deep are we, Gary? We're right at 12 inches. And that's a pretty common depth well, for many tanks? Most aquariums are going to be between 12 and uh, 18 inches uh, relative to the corals that they're wanting to keep. So it is a good measurement of what's going on in the tank. So our par meter here, we're going to get a reading at 12 inches. We're right at uh, 563, 62. And is that um, high light, low light levels? What have you that's, seen compared? That's, uh, that's good lighting for most all of these corals. I think that's uh, well above what you're going to get out of most other uh, fixtures, even most other LED fixtures. All right, there we're close to 12 inches. 12 inches, and what's your reading now? We're at uh, 175, 176.
All right, so that's about it for today. So we've accomplished what we set out to do, and that was really to look at, take our customary spectrum, go head to head against a fluorescent combination of white nictinic lamps. We went from 540 watts with the fluorescent down to 208 with the LED. Uh, we over doubled the light level with using half the electricity. And at the end of the day, the tank looks great. You know, So you can have high light levels, but if your tank doesn't look great, you're not gonna be happy. And so we were able to accomplish all of those things today here at Aquadome. And so if you have any more questions, feel free to go to www.buildmyled.com. You can hit contact us now on that website, give us a call, and we'll be glad to work with you on your next lighting project.